Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to sublimate on wood. And specifically in this video, I will be sublimating on this wood tray that I got from Hobby Lobby. And today I kind of wanted to recreate a Pioneer Woman tray. So I will be taking this tray right here that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I will be painting it with white paint and then using polyacrylic. And today's video is gonna be a learning experience for me as well. This is my first time trying this out. I did see a video by Appalachian Home Co. on YouTube and her designs came out super cute. So I thought I would go ahead and try it out for you guys and recreate the Pioneer Woman tray. If you guys are wanting to make this exact tray, I will show you guys everything that you will need for this project. So first you will need this wooden tray by Woodpile Fun. And I did pick it up at Hobby Lobby for $14.99 and it is super cute it has a metal edge on it and then the wooden inside that you can actually sublimate onto and on the back you see there are six screws that i will have to unscrew and then pull this wood up and sublimate on it next you will need some polyacrylic i did pick this up at lowe's and it is a polyacrylic crystal clear top coat durable fast drying protection clear satin you will also need some ultra white paint I did pick up the Satin Interior Valspar brand, and it is just an ultra interior paint primer. Also need a couple of sponges. Right now you just see one. Um, Rob said he does have one in the garage, so I will be using that one for the white paint. So you'll need one for the polyacrylic and one for the white paint. And then you will also need a couple of screwdrivers. I did just grab a flathead and then also a star one for the back of the tray. The flat one I will be using to open up the paint. Now that I have everything that I need, I am gonna go ahead and take out all of these screws. And I'm just taking my star screwdriver and carefully taking out the screws. These screws are super tiny, so you wanna make sure that you're well over the table. And fast forward through this, because it may take a minute. And you guys could always use a drill, it might be faster. I just didn't because Rob is making a fish tank stand and I didn't wanna take his drill from him right now. And we're just gonna take the board out, which it pretty much falls out if you're not careful. And go like this. Here's the metal piece and here's our wood piece that we're gonna sublimate. Ready to sublimate this piece of wood right here. See the little screw holes on the back or the bottom of the tray. So we know that we need to paint and sublimate onto this side. And in Christy's video from Appalachian Home, she did say to go ahead and sand your piece of wood. This is not raw wood from Lowe's. This is actually a tray that's already been sanded and ready to use. So the wood is already very smooth and soft. So we can go ahead and get started. We don't have to sand it, or I'm not going to sand it. If you guys wanna sand it, you can. But I'm gonna go ahead and open up our polyacrylic and our paint. You can go ahead and shake or stir your paint. I already got mine shaken at Lowe's. So mine is ready to use right now. I'm gonna start with one coat and let it dry for a couple of minutes and probably do a second coat. You can just use more paint for a more white look. Maybe I should have sanded this because I am seeing the lines, but we will see when we're done. It's too late now. I may sand it after. So I did about three different coats of this paint and I let it dry for about an hour. I'm just using this sponge that has sandpaper on it and I did wash it off because it had some other stuff on it. So it does look a little bit wet. Hopefully that doesn't matter. take a rag and brush all of that, all those pieces or particles off. And it's super smooth, feels really nice. And I'm gonna get me new butcher paper to do the polyurethane or the polyacrylic. We're just gonna use a very light coat of this.
All right guys, and I wanted to show you guys where I found this design. I did not pay for this design because I don't plan on using it any further than this video. So I didn't want to purchase one and also it is a copyright design. So I will not be selling this design and I will not be printing it on items to sell. This is specifically for this project. So I just searched Pioneer Woman Pattern PNG and I did find it on eBay. This one was like a fleece fabric, but right here I'm just gonna be grabbing this image and add to photos. And now I'm in PixArt and I'm gonna go ahead and select my photo, go to tools, and we're gonna shape crop it to a circle and go as large as we can, right there. Next, and right here you can choose a border. I did do a skinny border and I used the dropper to select the darkest part of that flower. And I just went ahead and saved and there's our image. Okay, and let's go back to the computer and print off the design. So guys, once I uploaded the design, I was thinking about the size of the tray and I was wondering if maybe that's too many flowers. And then I went on to Canva and added this circle right here. And it was just over in polka dot circle. And I clicked this one right here. And once I had it, I'm just showing you guys how I did it. And that's a little bit brighter. So I just went over to this color section over here and turned it to the photo colors. So this color, and then that white is too white. Went up to the white right here, selected it, then went to photo colors again to see which color would look best. And there's the green, there's red, which I love, and there's blue, red. I don't know, that color is kind of really pretty too. I wish you guys were here to tell me which one you like best. I don't know, that green is kind of cute too. But this one stands out more. So there it is without. Here it is with. Let's just do it without and I'll probably do a plate in the next video. Just so I can use that little border right there. So yeah, let's go ahead and get it printed out. All right guys, I got distracted again. And I saw this cute polka dot frame. So maybe I'll go with the polka dot frame and let me show you guys what it looks like in different colors. And this was also in Canva. So here it is with red. And it's very hard to see the actual colors on the screen. And I kind of like that color right there. It's kind of a beige color or tan. That's pretty too. And this is the polka dot pattern that I found. And you can just change the color right up here. And then photo colors. This is the floral photo. And here are all the colors integrated into that design. So I do like that dark green. And let's get it printed out. All right guys, so my piece of wood is nice and dry. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, that's my timer for the wood. I just wanna make sure that I get all the dots in the picture, put that down on the table and put this board over the top of the design and then tape it so that I can only see red and no red dots. And let's go over to the press. I'm super excited to show you guys how this turns out. And my press is at 380 degrees and we're we'll pressing for 50 seconds. I have my piece of butcher paper and let's see how it does. Like I said, this is my first time sublimating one of these trays. I was just sticking where that paint was. It's a little bit wet. I don't know if that's from the paint or what that is. All right guys, so my camera battery died right as I was taking off this tape. 
this. So I'm just gonna have to try to hold my phone and show you guys it. I don't know if you guys can see how I'm having a hard time taking this off. I'm gonna try to wash it and clean this all off and then show you guys what it looks like. But for right now, I'm gonna try to peel off as much as I can. And so it did take me about five minutes to scrub all of that paper off. As you guys can see, there's some spots that are shiny and some are not. That is probably from me not sanding the wood before painting it. That wood felt really smooth and I thought since it came from Hobby Lobby that it was already sanded and apparently not. So definitely recommend sanding it first. And I am gonna go ahead and coat it one more time with that polyurethane and we'll let it dry for about an hour and we will put our frame on. And let me go ahead and coat this one more time. I probably could have left it under the press for a full 60 seconds. We normally only press for 50 seconds, but I think this could have used 380 for 60 seconds. All right guys, and this is it with the second coat on. I did use my heat gun right over there to kind of get it to dry quicker. And I just kind of went in a circular motion all over it. And I'm ready to put it back inside of the frame and show you guys how it turned out. And I have all my screws in now and I'm ready to show you guys the other side. Of course, if you were going to sell one of these trays, you probably want to go ahead and paint the back so it doesn't have that, you know, messy look. So I'm ready to show you guys the front. 